Okay, this tutorial will be covering the card template, so let's go to the Manage Store page. This will get us to our administrative settings. If you go to the Images and Cards pull-down menu, there's a entry here called Download Card Templates. You click that, and a pop-up window will come here, and you can see there's a zip file there that will have the card templates. So download that zip file and open that up and store those in one of your directories. Okay, so here I am at my GCU folder in my graphics program and I'm using PaintShop Pro Photo X2. A lot of other people use uh, Photoshop. You can see I have the two templates from GCU in here. The Landscape Template, PSD, Portrait Template, PSD. So these are Photoshop files that also open in Corel PaintShop Pro. So let's open up the Portrait Template. Okay, I have the template open and you can see it's a uh, 5 inch wide at 1500 pixels, 300 dots per, per inch wide. It's 7 inches high which is 2100 pixels at 300 dots per inch. And there's basically two layers. The top layer is what we're seeing right now which is this uh, informational layer. And underneath it is what's called the just the border layer which is basically just has this uh, red dotted line. Now if I uh, take off the top layer I can see the bottom layer has this dotted line which is the the edge of the what's called the bleed area and then the main area of the card. Okay now let's talk about this a little bit here. This red dotted line is the border between what's called the bleed area and the main content of the card. Now when you when you make your card image you do want to take your artwork and spread it over this entire area. So you want to go 1500 pixels wide and 2100 pixels tall. But you need to be aware of this 75 pixels top and bottom and left and right is going to be an area where the trimming of the card is going to occur. And since we're printing on mechanical printers and trimming on mechanical trimmers that that cut line could be anywhere from this edge here all the way to this red dotted line and all the way around. So essentially we want to make sure that we don't put any content from our card like text or you know a, somebody's hand or something that's important to the image or even the you know parts of the frame that we might have we have a, a decorative frame around the edges. We want to make sure that none of that really gets trimmed off to the extent that it starts to make the card look very poor. And so that's the whole idea of using this template is a, it puts this dotted line at the 75 pixel point around our our card image and allows us to determine whether we need to make adjustments to our design before we upload our card. So let's take an example where I have this card that I just designed uh, looks pretty good, a nice picture of a couple of gals. It's going to be a graduation card. I can probably use this for a party invitation or a congratulations card. It looks pretty good. I've got my card dimensions already, 1500 by 2100 pixels. But I'm a little concerned that some of my text might be lying in this bleed area and maybe I might be cutting off the toes of the gals here. So what I want to do is overlay this graphic onto the card tem template to see if I actually do have any problems. Okay, so I'm just going to cut and paste this uh, image and take it over to my card template. I'm going to just paste it in as a new layer. So you can see it shows up as the top layer here. Now, the way you really work this is you take the layer that's the uh, dotted line layer and just lay it on top of your image and you can see so you're seeing the top top layer first which is the dotted line layer then you're seeing the actual graphic image that you're overlaying and sure enough I found some of my problems I have some of the text of the card overlaying into the bleed area I have some of the text on the bottom here in the bleed area and I have the toes of the gals that are clipped off and clearly this is if the card was ever printed and trimmed this way it would be terrible and uh, the customer would demand their money back. So obviously I'm going to have to fix this design in one way or another before I upload it. So I think I'm going to try putting a wide border around and uh, 
see what I can do there. Now, before I think about this, <clears throat> if I go and look, I have the edge of this card template. If you look at my ruler at the top here, it's exactly 75 pixels. So if I'm going to add a border, I want to make sure it's probably twice that distance so that if I do end up having a, some of that border trimmed off, I at least have 75 pixels of border all the way around the edge there. So I'm going to add 150 pixels around the edge and then resize the card. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here's my new card. I've got the uh, 150 pixel slight gray border around it. I add a little bit of a contrasting trim around the photo itself. It makes it look a little more professional. And now I'm just going to cut and paste this over into the uh, card template and see, see how it looks. Okay. So now we've got we've taken care of all of our text and the toes are all in there and you can see that we now have just some constant color of a border around the perimeter and there will be enough room for a slight little gray uh, border that will be around this black photo trimmed area. So this is telling me that I've solved my problems and my card is ready to upload. Just double check my sizing 15 by 2100 is okay <clears throat> and what you want to do is since I know the card is good I can just go back to my my finished card without the template involved and just upload this as a JPEG file like I would any of the other ones but that's the basic way that you use the card template Another way to do this is, let's say I just have another image here. I've got it sized right at 1500 wide, 2100 pixels tall. I'm a little concerned that, you know, that I might be, you know, uh, crowding these two gentlemen. So rather than use a template, I can drag my ruler over from the edge here over to the 75 pixel point, which is about right there on the left edge. So that'd be 75 from the zero line there. I can go over to the right edge to the 1425 level. That kind of shows me where the uh, the cut line potentially could be. And I can do the same thing uh, from the top down. Looking for 75 pixels from the top, which is about right there. And then 75 pixels from the bottom, which would be about right there. And I say, okay, everything looks good. I'm not cutting off any toes and people aren't looking uh, overly crowded in the photo. And I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about adding a border like I did in the prior example. You know, there may be cases where people can't open the Photoshop file or that. You can make up your own template just taking into account this uh, 1500 by 2100 pixel template size and using 75 pixels as your dotted line spaces to separate the, the main content of the card from the bleed area. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, you can come to the GCU forum and uh, plenty of people there to help you. Now if you want to go back and check your old cards, you can go to your managed card page under list view and under each card there's a link here for what's called the print margin previews. So let's click on that. That'll bring up a page that'll be uh, specific to this particular card. And it'll have two uh, rectangular boxes around the card image. The And you can change the color. So I'm just for clarity here. I'm going to change this to a green and re-preview it here. And what we'll see is <clears throat> this green box here is that 75 pixel point that I showed in earlier in the video. Basically everything within the green rectangle will be printed. The, the, the target for the trimming line on the machines will be halfway between that 75 pixel point and the edge of the card. So this is the, the red line is the approximate point where the trimming will happen if everything lines up perfectly at the, at the printing facility. But you always run the risk that it could run up right up to the green line on one of these edges. So you just want to make sure all of your critical content of your text and so forth are within that green box. So 
I hope that's helpful. You can always go back and uh, double check your cards. Uh, the review team does use this tool for new cards being submitted, so if you do have any violations of this, uh, these bleed areas, you will have the card returned to you. So rather than cause yourself additional delay, better just get it right the first time and uh, go from there. So, talk to you soon.